People of Earth, I am your host Tony Mui, and today we are putting two acquaintances up against one another in a brand new episode of Sneaker Battle. In one corner, he is the Chief Operating Officer of Private Label NYC, one of the best sneaker travel bags on the market if I do say so myself. Hector Aponte, aka Who Is Heck Is Here The Battle. And in the other corner, he is the Outfit Grid King, the Yankee Fitted Sultan. Mama calls him Terrell Marcus, but we call him T-Mark Got Kicks. T-Mark is here to battle. And of course, back like Groundhog's Day, my guy Jose is here to provide secondary market prices to give the viewers some insight on how these sneakers either appreciate it or depreciate it over time. All right, let me start off with you, Hector. You two are pretty familiar with each other. What is your strategy going into this battle? It's gonna be tough, man. Like, you know, I used to be heck got kicks, you know, because I looked up to him, man. He's like the sneaker godfather. Now, he, he got he got shoes, man. So I'm, I'm just kind of trying to come with stuff that I think he doesn't have, but he got bangers, so it's gonna be a good one. T Mark, not only are you a man of sneakers, you are a man of the fitted caps. Is it true that you supply some of our favorite celebrities with these custom patchworks? Yes, that is very true. I gotta get the rest of the team some hats though. But going into this battle, I know my man Heck. I knew him for 10 plus years. I know he got anything from Adidas to Nikes to crazy Jordan samples. Hope I'm prepared, but I know he got some nut under his sleeve, so. Gentlemen, let me break down the rules. The rules are simple. This is a five round battle. Each round will tackle a different category. Both battlers will show off their shoes from the count of three at the same time. Round one, show off your best numbered sneaker in three, two, one, show. Ooh, Hector, go ahead. This is kind of like a little cheat code because I know he's coming with crazy shoes. The Michigan Four is football. So all the shoes are numbered. They have the player's number inside. Now I can't technically show you the number completely. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I got a, you know, there's a zero there. I got the bread sands. These are special to me because Jordan Brand actually gave me these at the pop-up shop. So I got number 167 out of 501. So Big Apple, Adidas. There's about, I think it was 200 pairs. I got 143. And then, uh, you know, I need to keep it back with the Adidas again. So the first 4D was one of 300 that actually had the holes on the bottom. The release pair did not. So I guess, you know, a lot of people were probably complaining about dust, dirt, stuff getting in there. So it's actually just one black panel. So this was one to 300. You already said one of my cousin was actually in one of the stores when they dropped and he was able to grab these for me for retail. So look at this guy. Something crazy. <laughs> just a retail plug. <laughs> All right, I'll start with the Michigan Forest for you, Hey, It's looking like as low as 5,000 for some of the offers and as high as 8,000 for other offers on those. And then for the bread satins, we're looking at as low as 2,800 for some of them and as high as 10,000 for some of those. Both with the commonality of two guys that have six rings, Jordan, Tom Brady, shout out to the coach. Round two, show off your best overseas release in three, two, one, show. I knew it. I knew Ooh, it. okay. T Mark, talk to me first. So, Korean Threes, I posted these like two weeks before they dropped. Somebody was actually out there, he did a raffle, we ended up hitting. He charged me retail plus shipping, but I gave him like an extra 300. That's how I got the So, Korean Threes. This was technically a friend and family release only in Asia. They released a pack. This was kind of tough to find in my size, you know, because me and T Mark are the same size. So we're like, you know, 11, 11 and a half. So usually when something is Asia release only, the biggest size is an 11. I was blessed enough to have somebody reach out to me and say, hey, I have this in your size. It's probably one of the rarest Pharrell friends and families that you could find or even, you know, even look for. Oh, fire. Ooh. Myro 7. Clean. Myro Jordan 7. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but if somebody could help me. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like a 
River Provet. It was a store overseas, I believe. This was like when the NMD hype was super hype and you know, that glitch patterns, very similar to kind of the Big Apple that I showed you earlier, but in the blue yeah. colorway. They had removable patches on the back. All right, I'll start with you, Terrell. Those Seoul Korea Jordan 3s are looking like they're going for around 3,000 on average with a high at 10,000 for a size 12. And then for you, heck, that China pack for those NMDs, on average around 6,000, but I'm seeing some pairs for 10,000 and even 18,000. All right, moving on to round three. Show off your best sneaker pack. In three, two, one, show. Yee! Yo, that's crazy. I ain't gonna pack. This is a, this is a heck pack. Yo. <laughs> there ain't no pack. It's a pack, man. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> this is a real pack. All right, we'll, we'll let it slide. Hector, talk to me, hey, man. We the best red pair. And then uh, the blue suede pair um, was probably my favorite one. I acquired this one first. And then I guess my AD kind of kicked in and I was like, I need the red pair. There's no way I could just have this one. But yeah, I think the, the blue one has my love. I, I like this one a lot more than the red one. I got the DJ Club kit, Air Force One Burrow pack. Now these are extremely hard to find. This is the Bronx pair. This is the Brooklyn pair. The Manhattan pair. The Queens pair. And the Staten Island pair. This pair is a sleeper. T Mark, I actually saw you post that the other day. Did you like just finish completing that pack? Just got him. Uh, honestly, Mayor made a call for me, man. Shout out, Mayor. New beginnings. Nice. I have not this pair. I wore this pair. I actually like these a lot. Yo, shout you guys out. Are <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kick it over to Jose. Let's start with you, Heck. The red pair of Khaleds are going for around 18,000 on average, with some pairs as low as 11,000. Obviously, a five digit shoe all around, super rare, super expensive. And for the blue pair, it's looking for around the same thing 15,000, 13,000. I'm not seeing all five pairs online, but for the ones I have found, Looking for around 2,500 for the three that I found. For as low as 400 for the Queens pair, but I'm guessing that's just one person selling theirs on the low right now. But. Oh shit, we flexing too? This is for the commenters that, you know. Okay, talk to him, Jose. For the building tape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was the item in Chicago, man. Moving on to round four. Show off your best friends and family sneaker. In three, two, one, show. Ooh, okay. Hector, talk to me. This is the Travis Scott friend and family four. This happens to be the That's white the midsole, the translucent eyelets, and the translucent bottom. This is definitely one of my favorite shoes just because I love the, the color is amazing, the quality. Uh, the leather interior, just a super dope shoe. At the Arctic Orange C2s, this was given to me by an NBA player. I can't announce his name. He ended up having two pairs and he ended up giving me these. So far, one. This could have went in the number category too, but I kept it on the front. Double flex? <laughs> nah, uh, I got number 65 out of 223. Once again, T-Mark gets set, he gets retail. He he gets all that stuff. I, I don't have that love check. Just try to build connection. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, you, you got it. I don't think people understand how rare these shoes are. They might see it in like past episodes of Sneaker Battle, but these shoes are so damn rare. It's hard to get a hold of these unless you're yeah. paying top dollar for them. This is going to be my pack, but I know you're going to think I was cheating because this is not really a pack at all. Friends and family, uh, Pharrell's. This is probably one of the most fit shoes. That was like the first Friends and Family. Yeah, this was the first one, but this is probably my favorite one out the pack, um, the Shock Pink. All right, so I'll start with the Arctic Orange 2s. I found a pair for 2,500 online. Sounds like a little bit low for that shoe, especially the explanation you gave. It seems like it's a little more rare than that. And then for the Travis 4, one pair I found an offer for $6,800, but it was with the black midsole and not the white one like you have, so I can't really put a price on yours. Definitely a rare pair to have. 
All right, moving on to the final round. This round is called Battler's Choice. Whatever heat you want to show off to go against your opponent, now this is the time to do it. In three, two, one, show. Hey. A lot of easy two set. Uh, Red October, so is Platinum's. Hold on, T-Marks, why didn't you show off the, the first set? Cause you 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 got the you got the first Yeezys, right? Yeah, I mean that's coming. Right. <laughs> I seen I seen how the last video went, and I just seen people just showing shoes. So okay, you know, okay, my bad, my bad. To keep up, right? My bad, my <laughs> bad. All right. So mine's is uh, a little bit different. Um, I know everybody kind of expects like samples or peas or that kind of stuff for the last round, but mine's is my son's first pair of shoes. Ladies, the you know this is a size zero. Actually, they don't even make size zeros anymore. The OG Laney, right? Yep. So retro. This one is probably one of my favorite shoes that I own. And I think my fifth round is really all the shoes that I couldn't get as a kid. You know, for my son. Easy one set. Zingrays, net nets, black and pink blinks. This one is my favorite color. I don't know why. I just love the tan on it. Super clean. It doesn't have the wads on the strap. It has the wads on the front right here. And then the swoosh glows in the dark. So this is my favorite pair, but I feel like this is probably like the most versatile pair. Like you can do everything with these sweats, jeans, shorts, whatever. You know, organ threes. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta explain it though, because those are not just that's the pit crew pair? This is the pit crew pair. Yeah. Um, just, this was probably like you know, a couple years back. The one, if you were like a sneaker, IG sneaker legend, you remember those days, T Mark? Yeah. You had to have one of these pairs. But I think one of my favorites is uh, this Marquette 3. I didn't get to wear this one yet. You know, I wanted to kind of drop this at an event or something, or, you know, we'll see. Sneaker mm. 3. I like it with the green swoosh though. I hate yeah. cement swoosh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the cement swoosh. This actually came with a pack of laces and swooshes, it's changeable swooshes that actually come out. Oh. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was hoping he wasn't showing that pair at all. And so the ones, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's like a lot of celebrities and like major collectors don't have this shoe like at all. And it's just not that they can't afford it. It's just, you can't find it. Switch it up. I mean, you can just throw shit around all the time. Dunkles, she's back. They back, man. Dunkles, I love this shoe. Definitely. And this is way before like SB's got back because I had this pair for a long time. Uh, there used to be tons of fakes in that back in the day too, man. Yeah, a thousand pairs supposedly of these. And I just love the black and pink and the art on it. So I ended up getting these from Image DS for like 400, bro. And before it got crazy. Oh, Basils. Cause I knew it was gonna go. I knew the fifth round was gonna be tough, man. Cause he was gonna put that bit. Huh? That's tough. Like, and it's crazy, like all these shoes that he's showing, have like escaped me. Like I can't, obviously that, that Jordan one, I've never even seen anybody else other than him have it. Bring it back, Air Force Ones is kind of making a comeback. Uh, 2001 at most. I could have put this in the overseas release, but I saved these for uh, this round. They did a pop-up the day before, like uh, before it like, opened to the public for the media and the influencers. And I had got surgery two days before this shoe dropped on my knee. So I was in there with crutches. <laughs> I was in there in crutches. <laughs> yeah. and crutches. He was gonna let us buy the shoe. So I'm like, yo, I got it. Gotta get the shoe. Obviously the price on those ladies is like tough to find for kids sizes. And if we're putting your story to it, it's pretty priceless. But if we're gonna put a number on anything, it's gonna be the threes that you pulled out. And those are well over 6,000 for each pair. We've seen the Marquettes and the Pit Crew Pack. The Tinkers, all sky high prices for those. From looking at the Platinums and the Red Octobers, each one of those is going for around 15,000 for the Red Octobers, even as high as 30,000 for some masks. Obviously a super rare shoe. And then the Solar Reds are looking around 7,000 for those. All right, well that concludes another sneaker battle from home. Thank you to both battlers. Before we get out of here, I just want to mention 
do yourselves a favor and re-watch some of the older episodes. You don't want to miss that. You know, there's a lot of variety there. And also, I want to give the platform over to you guys. What do you guys want to plug? Do you guys got anything going on during this time? I just want to say, you know, thank you for kind of putting this together and giving us, uh, you know, a platform to watch some of some people who are well known in the industry, some people who aren't. Um, and it was dope to kind of just even go against like my bro, like for real. Like I've known T Mark forever. Um, yeah, nah, I just appreciate it, man. Thank you. Just doing a lot of branding stuff, uh, a lot of work. And not just hats, man. Selling out in second, boy. All right, Jose, any last words? Yeah, shout out to Johnny Parker. This one's for you. <laughs> Keep your hands clean out there. I will leave it in the viewers' hands. Let us know in the comments below who won this battle. Again, this is just a showcase for these two gentlemen to show off their collection. But at the end of the day, we still need a verdict. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next episode, and we out of here. Peace.